Welcome back to Bryceside here on 10 Tampa Bay. Oh man, it's the peak of hurricane season. Fortunately, nothing is impacting us right now, but you look at this map and your eyes about go cross. There's a lot to look at here. I'll try to walk you through it as best as I can uh, in the time that we have. But let's start up there with Tropical Depression Omar and this non-tropical low pressure system uh, just to the northeast of it. Uh, tropical Depression Omar likely just becomes a remnant low later today, so that's not an issue. Either is this non-tropical low pressure system. It'll stay out in the Atlantic, has a 20% chance of development, so not really a concern there. This is where things really get interesting. Now we're in the eastern Atlantic, just off the coast of Africa. We have, well, three tropical waves, two of which that I've highlighted here, and these are going to do a little do -si do That tropical disturbance number three with the 70% chance of development, that will shoot to the north and west. It bypasses that first invest 91L. There may be some development there, and then there's another tropical wave about ready to come off the coast of Africa. Yeah, we're calling this the African wave train here because these African tropical waves just continue to move off the coast. This system that is yet to come off the coast has a 40% chance of development. Here's what the GFS model does with it. I think the GFS model has a little better handle on things. It's actually handled the whole tropical season a little bit better than the European forecast model. But watch what happens as all three of these systems sort of interact with each other in, in one way or the other. See how that, that middle tropical wave bypasses, almost doing like a, a weave of sorts. And once it moves past that first tropical wave and it moves into the central Atlantic, that has a better chance of development. And then that third tropical wave also starts to move into the central Atlantic. This takes us into next Saturday. So we're talking about more than a week down the road. Even longer range forecasts have both of these systems curving out into the Atlantic. But guys, a lot to keep a track on over the next week or so as these systems start to develop and move across the Atlantic.